Rain Industries quarterly results was definitely weighed down by weak realizations for carbon and advanced material products, majorly reflecting the sharp decline in prices for oil derivatives. Let's do a three-point analysis of the earnings fine print and also to understand the outlook going forward. 1. Q4 CY19 result highlights. Well, carbon products revenue declined by 21% year-on-year, mainly on account of steep decrease in realizations. Sequentially, lower realizations were particularly visible for CPC, that's calcined petroleum coke, but this was more than offset by better volumes. Now, in spite of this, the profitability per ton for carbon products has been quite stable. Now, note that in the previous quarter, the company was able to get rid of its high cost inventory which has helped segmental margins to normalize to near historical levels. Now, in case of the advanced material segment, sales volumes were definitely affected by the lower demand for these products and that has to be a something which needs to be washed out for. Two, what are the other observations then? Well, sequential improvement in calcined petroleum coke volume sold point uh, was point towards actually the normalization in the production volume. Now note that the company's earlier business model also required it to import the calcine petroleum coke from its USA plant and then blend it and re-export it. But due to the import ban, the company is now able to pursue this blending process, which helps in margins as well. Now, consequentially, the company is also procuring uh, anograde GPC from domestic refineries. Now, the company has launched a new product called the anhydrous carbon pellets or ACP which is at par with the quality of the green pet coke. The calcined version of the ACP offers some unique advantages to the anode uh, producers like lower pro um, power consumption. And due to this advantage, some of the headwinds in the domestic CPC business can be compensated through the ACP which doesn't face challenges of the import ban. Now, the company's vertical shaft CPC plant at WISAG is on track and is expected to start operations in the current quarter. Further, the hydrogenated hydrocarbon resins plant uh, at Germany is also slated to start the operations from Q2 of 2020. Now, plant commissioning has been delayed due to the hindrance in getting the supply of some of the equipment from Italy on account of the coronavirus scare. Three, what's the outlook going forward then on the company? Well, business cycle related challenges due to the weak end markets such as automotive, also aluminium, steel or even the graphite industries are definitely expected to continue in the near term. In addition, the corona coronavirus epidemic related to the supply chain and also the demand distortion is a big challenge that the company faces. The company's balance sheet is on the mend. Currently, the net uh, debt to EBITDA is at 3.8 times, which definitely the company wants to reduce, reduce to three times of the calendar uh, 20 earnings. Now, in sum, the company has been able to tackle a few of the structural challenges due to the business cycles that they have been facing, also the regulatory agencies and the loss making product lines as well. The company has also resorted to the product manufacturing and also restructuring of operations to handle that. At the same time, the same, uh, some of the business cycle related challenges, they remain, which are likely to depend on a recovery in the global growth for, per se from here on. Since the stock trades at an inexpensive valuation of 4.5 times CY21 estimated earnings, we at Money Control Research believe that it can be accumulated in a staggered manner.